Welcome to the interim board meeting of the Board of School Directors of the School District of Springfield Township. There was an executive session between the public hearing and this meeting to discuss negotiations. And uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. A reading of the mission statement. The mission of the School District of Springfield Township is to educate and develop all students as learners and citizens who are high achieving, resilient, and responsible in a changing global community. Roll call, Mr. King. Mr. Bedard. Mr. DeFranco. Here. Dr. Adler. Here. Ms. Jordan. Here. Mr. Lapidus. Mr. Lehman. Here. Ms. Sarsfield. Ms. Lopinski. Here. Dr. Teratesky. Here. Announcements, the board at its discretion may videotape all or any portion of the public board meeting subject to the limitations set forth in policy 006.2, broadcasting of meetings. Board meetings will be broadcast on Friday afternoon following the board meeting. Are there any public comments on non-agenda items? Seeing none, we'll move to um, administrative reports. Dr. Hacker. Thank you. After a wonderfully successful showing of the Music Man Junior last weekend at the middle school that featured talented performers and stage crew um, from both Erdenheim and the middle school, we're now looking forward this coming weekend to the high school's production of Legally Blonde. Uh, we will have our annual senior citizens luncheon prior to the show at 2 p.m. on Sunday. So any senior citizen is invited to attend that luncheon. If anyone has not yet responded and would like to attend the senior citizens lunch, we'd like to ask you to please call the office and my administrative assistant, Luann McKenna, so that she can make plans to have any other individuals included. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, this week, we are in the midst of our cyclical monitoring in special education, where a representative from the Pennsylvania Department of Education comes in in order to review student files, conduct observations and interviews, do an assessment of our progress in terms of meeting our special, special education goals. The cyclical monitoring occurs every six years and generally leaves us with a number of commendations for our programming, but also some recommendations in terms of how to continue to improve our programming. Um, Dr. Johnston has done a wonderful job of organizing everything so that the monitors from the state have in hand the documents that they need and the scheduling in order to meet with students and staff. This morning, administrative staff, primarily principals, responded to questions from the interviewer from the state. And uh, we are looking forward to an excellent week that we know has been organized beautifully. Unfortunately, Dr. Johnston couldn't be here with us this evening. She's celebrating the birthday of her 10-year-old daughter. Um, and she's deserved to stay home because she's worked <laughs> so hard in terms of planning our monitoring visit. I also want to announce that on March 11th, here in the high school auditorium, there will be a viewing of the film Screenagers about the impact of the digital age on our youth. We so far have 325 tickets that have been reserved, so it is a popular event. So before it's a sellout, if anyone is interested in attending, please make sure you go onto our website and get more information or contact Dr. Johnston about this phenomenal film that has been shown in a number of districts in the area. And I want to thank one of our parents, Melinda Williamson, for bringing it to our attention so that we could take advantage of offering this to our community. And then finally, the only other thing that I would like to report is that we have begun our thought exchange survey on Monday to uh, solicit community, staff, and student input regarding the impact of a potential decision down the road to start secondary school start times later. 
Uh, there is a significant body of research, as we've already mentioned several times, that is out there that says that our teenagers and adolescents suffer from chronic sleep deprivation. And so many school districts are looking at or have already made the decision to move their middle and or high school start times later, many of them as late as 8.15 or 8.30. Currently, we start our high school at 7.45 in the morning. So we will be considering this important decision. We have no decision made at this point. After we get the results back of the survey, we'll begin to have community meetings and also develop a task force that can study issues such as the impact on extracurricular activities, busing, parent schedules, staff schedules, and so forth in more detail. But please, if you have not already done so, please go on to the Thought Exchange survey and share your opinions about your thoughts on this important matter. Thanks, Dr. Hacker. New business, personnel. The Board of School Directors approves the following personnel as presented in the attachment. Certificated personnel, support personnel, temporary personnel, extra pay for extra responsibilities, and conference workshop attendance. Is there a motion? And a second. Any comments or questions? Mr. King? Hi. Number two, MAP Professional Development. The Board of School Directors approves the service agreement with the MCIU for Stephanie Schwab to provide training for secondary math teachers on June 23rd and 24th, 2020, as part of the Summer Learning Academy program at a cost of $2,000 plus, plus mileage and materials. Is there a motion? And a second. Any comments or questions? Aye. Number uh, three, seventh grade class trip. The Board of School Directors approves the seventh grade class trip to Diamond Ridge Conference Center on Friday, June 12, 2020. Is there a motion? motion. And a second. Any comments or questions? The Diamond Ridge Conference Center is a center that is located at 611 past Willow Grove where students can engage in team building activities, they can do rock climbing, they can do zip lines and so forth. It's primarily for team building and for bringing the students together as part of the Middle School Character Counts program. Any other comments or questions? Mr. King? Mr. DeFranco. Aye. Number four, autistic support class trip. The Board of School Directors approves the autistic support class trip to the Ambler Area YMCA on Wednesday, March 18th, 2020. Is there a motion? And a second? second. Any comments or questions? Aye. Number five, Plan Con Part One. The Board of School Directors approves Plan Con Part One interim reporting for the School District of Springfield Township's High School Project Number 3896. Is there a motion? motion. And a second? Sure. Any comments or questions? Mr. King? Mr. DeFranco. Aye. Number six, high school project change orders. The Board of School Directors approves the following change orders pertaining to the high school renovation project. A, change order credit number PC-002 from J.R. Reynolds, Inc. in the amount of $6,312 for unused plumbing construction materials. B, change order increase number SC-007 from B. Blair Corporation in the amount of $151,524.16 for traffic signs, as asphalt index cost adjustments, 
water meter pit and water line relocation, dugout foundation revisions, baseball field backstops and fence modifications, additional baseball field drainage, vestibule sidewalk and road crossing changes. Is there a motion? And a second. Any comments or questions? Ms. Jordan, um, the, what precipitated the, these changes? Well, first of all, this is a whole bunch of changes, as you can see from the description, that were lumped together. So this one amount is not because we needed a few things for a particular area. This incorporates a lot of different areas. So each one of these things has a different explanation. So for example, um, the baseball field backstops, they, it was determined they weren't large enough to actively stop the balls going out onto Paper Mill Road because of the location of the backstops. Um, there was another issue with the road crossing changes. Again, totally separate area where they had to extend beyond the high school between where we are in the freeze lobby and the maintenance area. They had to widen that area in terms of the, what the driveway was going to be. So there are a number of things here that are just a compilation of a lot of different changes that were necessitated. Um, if you need any more of an explanation regarding any of these things, Mr. Thorne is here. He can give you a more detailed explanation if you'd like. Is there anything else you'd like? Were these due to like an inspection type of thing where these issues were brought up or just punch list type items? Not necessarily inspection, but just things that came up during the construction that it was realized we needed some type of adjustment for. Okay. What, were any of these, <clears throat> I guess, was were things built brand new that are going to have to be torn down and modified, and or is this something that was identified before? Nothing's going to have to get torn down and rebuilt. Okay, I, I mean, just you mean moving forward? Well, yeah, I mean, some of the some of the descriptions, mm -hmm. <clears throat> like with the fence and the, you know, like it was the fence built and now it's going to be rebuilt or are no. they just raising it higher? No, it was it was built, but then it was discovered as it was being built. So okay. we're not going to have to rebuild it. Okay, all so there, it's just going to go higher. So it's yes. not. These right. were adjustments that were made. Exactly. In the gotcha. Or you find out when you, you know, you can, my <clears throat> plan, for example, we knew that water lines would have to be relocated, right. but sometimes in the midst of it, you find that where you thought you were going to relocate it, it had to go somewhere else. Else, and that's an increased cost. Gotcha. So that's what you sometimes find out in the midst of having to do the things that you thought you were going to have to do. Fair enough. Thank you. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Mr. King? Mr. DeFranco. Aye. Dr. Etlin. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Aye. Mr. Lapidus. Aye. Mr. Needleman. Aye. Ms. Sarsfield. Aye. Ms. Lipinski. Aye. Dr. Teratuski. Aye. Number seven, professional services. The Board of School Directors approves the attached contract between the Springfield Township and the School District of Springfield Township for professional engineering and legal services for the land development of the existing Enfield Elementary School property. Attachment N. Is there a motion? In a second? Any comments or questions? Okay. Mr. King? Mr. DeFranco. Dr. Etlin. Ms. Jordan, Aye. Mr. Lapidus, Aye. Mr. Needleman, Aye. Ms. Sarsfield, Aye. Ms. Lipinski, Aye. Dr. Teratuski. Aye. Number eight, Aye. acceptance of donation. The Board of School Directors accepts a donation in the amount of $5,463.92 from the Spartan Alumni Turkey Track Committee. These funds are used to create two annual scholarships in the amount of $250 each to deserving cross-country winter track and field and or spring track and field participants. Is there a motion? motion. And a second. second. Any comments or questions? It's a great, a great donation. Thank you very much to the, to the committee. Thank you. Mr. King? Mr. DeFranco. Aye. Dr. Etlin. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Mr. Lapidus, Aye. Mr. Needleman, Aye. Ms. Sarsfield, Aye. Ms. Lipinski, Aye. Dr. Teratuski. Aye. Number nine, transportation routing software. The Board of School Directors approves the attached 3D Easy Routing, Inc. proposal and the student data privacy agreement to provide transportation routing software services in the amount of $499 per month 
implementation fee of $40 per route and optional service fees as listed on the attached agreement, attachment O. Is there a motion? And a second. Any comments or questions? I actually have a question. Um, I, I have a question on why we would be um, doing this on a monthly basis as per uh, versus a kind of longer term basis. Um, is it cost effectiveness or, you know, I'm thinking we're going to need transportation services for um, all year. So I'm just wondering how long the contract <clears throat> I decided to put it, typically when you have license and software support, it's an annual thing, mm -hmm. which this was. Mm -hmm. and, but part of the agreement is we can cancel this agreement anytime. Okay. Um, so I decided to put it in a, at a monthly mm -hmm. rate so that you can cancel the number of paying. Mm -hmm. and the $40 per route is we simply weren't sure how many routes we were going to have because of all the changes that we're experiencing with the, with the new elementary school. Okay. Losing and going back and forth. Um, the great thing about this is we actually have access to the software from now until July to see if we like it. Okay. Try it. Um, Mr. Bray has been playing in a uh, practice database, mm -hmm. uh, but now with this agreement, we can actually put our own data in there and we can start trying to feel out if we like it. Mm -hmm. If we come in by July and we don't like it, we can get right out of it. Okay. Or we can move into it and it's less expensive than what we're paying now. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Roll call. Mr. DeFranco. <laughs> Whatever it is. Dr. Etlin, Aye. Ms. Jordan, Aye. Mr. Lapidus, Aye. Mr. Needleman, Aye. Ms. Sarsfield, Aye. Ms. Slipinski, Aye. Dr. Teratuski. Aye. Are there any public comments on non-agenda items? All right. Future meeting dates. School board meeting Tuesday, March 17th at 7 p.m. in the Freeze Memorial Lobby. And an interim board meeting on Wednesday, April 1st, 2020 at 7 p.m. in the Freeze Memorial Lobby. There are no board committee meetings at this time. Thank you very much. We're adjourned. Thank you.